I just can't understand how she could have left. I was only a baby at the time. So Guyana is this, this small little country on the northern tip of South America, and nobody really knows about Guyana, and there's probably a reason. There's not much there. I mean, there's not a lot of opportunities there for people, and the people that live there are usually trying to find a way to, to move somewhere else. So the fact that, you know, we lived in Guyana, it was, was something that was limiting us to, to all that God would have for us. The, the best place in the world, we thought, then was America. And my father keep progging me. He said, go make a way. Go make a way for these kids. I really couldn't see myself living without my kids. I went to the, to the embassy to please my father. The way I felt, it was a visa to hell because it, I had to leave my precious kids. I, I didn't have the strength to do what I did, but God, he gave me supernatural strength. And I was able to leave Guyana. I communicated with my kids um, once a month, and each one of them I talked to for one minute. we would be waiting around the phone, and we'd be waiting for the call. Uh, my mom would call, and all she would have is one minute with each of us. A and the only thing I could remember is that she would say over and over again, Mommy loves you. So I remember these boxes coming in the mail. It was Christmas every month. We never knew what was on the inside of it, but it was always good. It was, it was candy, uh, chocolate, uh, these toys that we've never seen before. I mean, we live in Guyana. There's not a, a Walmart in Guyana. So it was amazing every month. And I just remember every once in a while, there, there'd be a tape on the inside. It used to be cassette tapes, and I would tape the, the, everything that was in my heart to them. The other I could have said to them, I love you, and to each one, and I would tell them that it was like torture. And, you know, I'd tell them all the happy things, though. I wouldn't tell them the sad stories. It was a year and nine months after I left home. My father, he died suddenly of a heart attack. He was like in a natural, my backbone. I felt all alone. There is no brother, don't have a brother, don't have a sister. After five years, the, the Holy Spirit put on my heart, go home now. I, I just couldn't stay no more. When God wants you to do something, he'd give you a push. And that is how I felt. I got a push from God. Booked the ticket, went home. When I arrived home and I saw my kids, oh my God, it was the most beautiful sight. And you know what? God bridged the five year gap. I remember when I saw her for the first time, it was, it was a morning and uh, I remember seeing her and I, I remember pretty quickly, it didn't take me long to realize that this is mommy. Now in Guyana, we went into the embassy, we got approval to come over here and not on a visitor visa, not on a student visa, but permanently and that was like a visa to heaven. When when we landed, it was really late at night. It was dark, pitch black, and we, I remember walking out into the uh, the terminal, and there's this group of people that met us there, and they were excited. They were so excited to see us, and, and in the moment, I, I didn't know why. I didn't know that these people were the same people that were there with my mom on this journey. The results of all that I went through for the five years was worth it all. When I sit back and I look at my kids, I think about what they're doing today, I just give God glory because I didn't make it happen, He did. My kids, they have a great education, they have good jobs, they marry 
to the best spouses. So my mom went through all this, all this stuff, and as I, as I learned about it, and I, I began to process what the prices that she paid, it makes me just realize how amazing it is that I have the opportunities that I have. And, and as a result of that, I, I want to make it count. I want to do all I can to love God and love others. As a mother, because of my story, I know that God will never leave me, nor forsake me or my family.